Pussy. Hard p- p- pussy. Hey, this is Mark, Mark Wahlberg, and we're out here in Cabo San Lucas, and I'm doing 20 bench presses for retarded kids. <laughs> we're raising money for retarded kids here in Cabo San Lucas. I don't have a shirt on, and I'm ready to bench press. <laughs> That's like half his Instagram. Really? Yeah. He's doing charity without shirts on? He's, yeah, shirtless charity. Oh, hell yeah. That's we're raising cool. money for the re- uh, the Retarded Kids of Boston Association. <laughs> <laughs> so One of my favorite all charities. All the kids in Boston. My favorite charity... The Mentally Retarded Boston Child Association. <laughs> <laughs> That's a good charity. Mark, let's look at it. Let's go to his Instagram now. Let's go look at him without that shirt on. So, Stav's a little upset today. Am I a little upset? You want to explain why? Uh, yeah, why? We recorded an episode yesterday. Yeah, I can tell. Why don't you just let him speak, Adam? Well, I yeah, I'm annoyed whenever we fucking have to do that. I think it's going to be a fine episode. We're going to release it as another bonus anyway. So you guys, you know are what? Are we or aren't we? We are, man. I'm, that I am upset about. Whenever we record these things and we don't release yeah. them, it's fucking stupid. Because there's plenty of good shit in there that's like, especially if we're already doing an episode. Or, like, or, or, or do we? Are we not? Is this not an episode either? No. <laughs> it's not even plugged in. <laughs> this is the only time Nick that's gets fine. to hang out with people. That's fine. Uh, no, I thought that was the discussion yesterday, that we're going to release it as a bonus episode. We should release it yeah. as a bonus. And anyway, I'm going to be out of town this weekend, so... Yeah, we're going to do... So stay show. tuned, guys. If you're Patreon subscribers, guess who's getting an extra shitty episode <laughs> this week? <laughs> It'll be fine. Um, it's, it was fine. You know, whatever. It's not the it best whatever. episode, but I don't give a fuck, dude. Yeah. Um, um, happy Easter, y'all. Make sure Aqua Hydrate... Shirtless again here to promote... <laughs> Some type of water. It's Diddy's water. I Mark, oh, is it? Yeah. Why doesn't Mark have his own water? I think they sponsor uh, Diddy and Brandon Wardell. Do they? I think Brandon gets cases of. No, he doesn't get sponsored by them. I think he maybe got a free maybe case. Maybe did once. Yeah, as an influencer. We got to be lifestyle influencers. Yeah. Yeah. I would love to have a partnership with a brand. If you have a brand out there, mm-hmm. and you want me to fucking be the the spokesman. Holler at me, dude. Yeah. You know? Uh, if, if, what's so that? What, like cheese flavored cigars? No, like, <laughs> what was <laughs> Lady, what was that? What was that? Be plus a good size company to pair with Stav. What was that women's store, Ladybug? Like sweatpants with pockets uh, and crotch. Fashion Bug. Fashion Bug. If, yeah. you, if Fashion Bug wants to fucking release yeah. a men's line, mm-hmm. I'm your guy. What's yeah. the slutty one that, what like, a type Cardi of bleach does? to get uh, Rainbow Plus to no. get <laughs> peanut oil off your hands? It's that, a special type of soap. I don't use peanut oil. I use avocado oil, olive oil. On your body? Yeah. Sometimes you have, coconut oil. You have the residue from a late night trip to checkers on your hands. <laughs> <laughs> you want to forget that it happened. I'm not a checkers boy, man. Check out Stavros Halkia's baby oil. Wipes brought to you by I don't know, Glaxo Smith Klein, whatever type of chemical company has to come up with. Yeah, Dupont. I want to work with Dupont, yeah, man. Dow, the Dow Chemical Dupont. Company yeah. presents the only wet naps that'll work on a man who's got nine <laughs> layers of bean dip. It's coated on his it, hand. It, yeah, it's just a, it's just the the nine layer dip, but it's on my hand. It's yeah. like sour cream, cheese, uh, salsa. Yeah. <laughs> it's just That'd be a good company to sponsor shit. you. Dow the Dow Seven chemical layer company, tip. like a uh, company that makes diabetes medicine, but the <laughs> medicine is just inside of the Tootsie Pop. <laughs> that sounds good. Yeah, that's so in the middle. To, it's a gobstopper. <laughs> yeah. You suck to get to the middle of the diabetes yeah. medicine. And they know no fat person has the fucking patience to get to the middle, so that the, the medicine's not going to work. They're going to need more of it. Yeah, it's smart, dude. They're going to mm-hmm. keep selling uh-huh. more and more. Yeah. So they, yeah, I'm I'm open to all these ideas except cheese flavored cigars. <laughs> I don't want to do that. I would, I would be open to a, a, a cigar made out of cheese. Uh-huh. You mean a mozzarella stick? Yes. <laughs> yes, exactly. <laughs> if you want me to sponsor your <laughs> mozzarella sticks, I'll do that, too. Hey, when you go to a restaurant, they call that shit fried cheese. Where, where do they mozzarella do that? Mozzarella sticks. Plenty of places. That makes you feel bad. I, I know. It name does. one place. Uh, numerous restaurants I've been to refer to it as fried cheese sticks rather than mozzarella sticks. That's bullshit, man. Yeah, yeah. that's rude. It is Maybe rude. they don't use mozzarella. Speaking oh. of, of fried cheese sticks, Lindy West's movie is uh, picked up by... Lorne Michaels is going to produce it. Is it a movie? I thought it was a show. Yeah. I don't know. I don't really pay attention to these sorts of things. I just Yes, uh, you do. When I sent it to you, you said you had already seen it. Yeah, because somebody else sent it to me. I got sent the same screenshot nine times. <laughs> people update me. Anytime Lindy does anything, people let me know. Yeah. 
Wow, dude, you guys are bound together for eternity. Yeah, by gravity. She Maybe has a, a, a pull. She has it's, a, a, <laughs> it's a one of the four, you know, <laughs> subatomic forces of the universe. I don't have any control over it. <laughs> um, yeah. What, what was I gonna say before? How about a woman that's so fat swim? that it sucks the cum out of your body, <laughs> like the moon with the like tides? That. Yeah. Oh, is that? Okay. Yeah. So you mean she's an a- she, she'd have to be an astronaut in orbit. Yeah. And she's the tide mm-hmm. is cum coming out of your dick. Right. The her the gravitational pull uh-huh. of the that girthy woman. Isn't yes. that how periods work? Right. The yeah. moon or something. The moon. This is they disgusting. do have something to do with look the at moon. That. Look how gross that is. What is that used on the dog? No, it's, it's Dasha's hairbrush. hairbrush. Why is there all that hair still Don't in the insult brush? my queen. Don't insult my queen in front it's, of me. That's, you shaved your Dasha hands yesterday. I know. <laughs> I shaved my hands. I'm not making fun of you. I'm saying that's a gross You've shaving your hands again today. I know. I like shaving my hands. Stop <laughs> shaving your knuckles at the table. I get, look. It's disgusting. <laughs> it keeps me smooth and fast. <laughs> I say you want, you want the good riffs, saying things like cheese cigars? Yeah. Uh-huh. You got to be smooth, all right? <laughs> I, look, I can already tell I'm going to have to carry this show this time because it's a makeup episode. And I'm gonna get zilch from YouTube bozos. No, I'm I'm feeling a lot better. I was I was tired yesterday. Oh, were you tired? Yes, I was. You were too busy thinking about bits for no, the I wasn't stand-up thinking about show. Bits, your monthly stand-up show. Yeah, the, that you do yeah, for my the, monthly the stand-up show you do every seven weeks. <laughs> That's not true. I do stand up. Uh, Every frequently, yeah. Uh, <laughs> it's so funny. I, until like two months ago, I did stand up maybe three times in 2017. No. Yeah, I know. I went. I went out probably like ten times in 2017. Yeah. That's crazy. I really? Know. Yeah. I quit comedy basically. Damn. I mean, I, when I was writing on go up when I was writing on Moshe's show, I didn't go up a single. I would. Yeah. Do, I went three and a half months without doing a single spot. Damn, that's wild. I know. It feels good to be back, but also you'll never feel like you belong again. Once you take a break, what the fuck are you you're never a comedian about? anymore. No, I can tell. You just, I see the way people look at me. You just when have I'm at the such, club and I'm hanging out. You have such weird issues, man. <laughs> <laughs> like the things that you are self-conscious about are hilarious. No, nah, nobody treats you the same. No, yeah. <laughs> that is true. They fuck I read that, I read that in the trades. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Real quick, guys. I'm some no guy one. that burns out, you know. It's mm-hmm. like my friend who used to go to jail for long periods of time and he would come out. And then he would get excited about pop culture shit that happened years prior. Oh, yeah. Mm. Be like, dude, have you heard about Xbox Live? <laughs> like, yeah, yeah, man. <laughs> Remember, have you seen the movie Dan in real life? <laughs> I've never seen that movie. Yeah, it's not a good movie. What happens to Dan? My friend went to jail. He got out of jail, and then he got a place to live, and he had a Dan in real life poster in his house. Was yeah. it that Steve Carell? <laughs> yeah. It was? Mm-hmm. Wait, what happens there? I think it's a drama. I've never seen it. Oh. Um... He yeah, like put his I don't life know. It's about a guy named Dan who's online all the time. And oh, nice. In, he real, gets IRL. And in real life, they find out that he's not not a you know racist podcaster. Oh, okay. He's just a guy named just a family man named Dan. Interesting. You know, just a simple just one syllable to, having name. Just wants guy. to do, just wants to do <laughs> woodworking. <Yeah. laughs> it's Dan IRL. Yeah, that does seem like a fantasy because that would never happen in real life. Yeah. In reality, that guy is exactly as racist as he is on the podcast. (laughs) (laughs) Um, (coughs) What happened? So, wait. Some guy who was an incel guy, like, killed yeah, people. What Toronto. happened? Oh, that was Toronto? Yeah, yeah, yeah. The guy with the van? He was also retarded. He was incel Whoa. and retarded? Yeah, and Armenian. Oh, damn. Oh, my God. Yeah. He must have been the a patriot. This is, this, is Mark, this is Mark Wahlberg. <laughs> I'm out here for all the retarded kids, except that one that drove that van through that parade. <laughs> for the guy that pulled a little Boston Marathon action up in Toronto. <laughs> Boston even does it, is our murders better. Actually, not that many people died. The Tsarnaev died. boys? How many people died in that yeah, Boston they just thing? Used like Boston bombing? Uh, it was like 700 people. No, they, did. <laughs> they used rice cookers, right? And some yeah, people got their ankles blown off. Instant pots. Yeah. But but didn't like a lady die? I think yeah. a couple people died, yeah. How many people died in Toronto? Uh, Seven. Oh, so maybe Toronto, eight, maybe. maybe he did better than Dude, that. Dude, I don't know. When that, when that uh, guy crashes. set it off with that truck in Nice and he killed like 100 people. <laughs> yeah, that like, guy's the go. Oh, this is the way to go. Yeah. yeah. You know, you got to go truck. You got to go truck. He's Jordan. Yeah. He, you know, you want to talk. It was that's, a big truck. Right? That's that's the real grave digger. <laughs> <laughs> it's true. <laughs> it's true. Yeah. Hell yeah, dude. No fear. 
Calvin pissing on the American flag mm -hmm. on the back. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. Calvin pissing on infidels. That's ISIS's new flag. <laughs> yeah. It's Calvin pissing on <laughs> women going to college. Yeah. <laughs> well, they all love this. I'm trust. telling you, dude, we're getting closer and closer to a redneck Muslim world, and that's not something people want. You know, fucking white people discover Islam. That's the end of the world for everybody else. Uh -huh. <laughs> you get, you, if, if you have, like, Muhammad justifying their hate crimes, who boy. You know, I don't think that'll ever happen. I mean, it could. You think white people, white, white trash? Then why, why wouldn't... Everything about Islam appeals to them. Uh, Every single thing. Like? Swords. Now trucks also. That's true. Yeah, you know, trucks. guns, violence. It's oppressive. <laughs> yeah. It's oppressive towards everyone except them. You get to rape all you want. Yeah, men are the best. Yeah. yeah. Is that Islam? Marriages. Is that it's, is that what's yeah. in the Quran? Is it's, that all that first, stuff? It's religion. Yeah. It's re religion. Yeah. You have a giant fucking duck dynasty beard. That's true. The beards it's, they, they uh, do uh, have that. It's one hundred percent compatible with that yeah. lifestyle. The mm. only thing is, is they don't have the music. Kind of sucks. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> you know, it's not cool shit. Like, well. You know, we're going down to the dance, and I hope that girl from the Dairy Queen is there. <laughs> you know. I am. Uh, maybe they could it's mix going, it up a little going bit. Going mudding. You know, that's a lot like pushing a gay guy off the roof of a building. <laughs> 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 Off-roading. <laughs> yeah. The, um, well, aren't, aren't a bunch of, like, terrorists actually gay or some um, shit? Like they yeah, they fuck they're all gay, dude. They found out Bin Laden and all that. Don't they like fuck boys porn. or something? Yeah, um, yeah. In Afghanistan, like the warlords yeah. were fucking boys. So. I like how it's like they said, "Oh, and you know, it's porn." As if like, yeah, so does everyone. Yeah, yeah, yeah exactly. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh, oh, now I, you know, I, I thought I thought Bin Laden was a pretty cool guy <laughs> until I found out that he looked at porn. <laughs> what, uh, the, what a monster! You think he's actually? Did they actually got him, dude? I think SEAL teams lying, dude. In the bod, yeah. Shit, they um, just put his ass in the water. Yeah, right. About, about a boy, Pakistan. About, about a boy. <laughs> <laughs> Hugh Grant. Is that his Hugh Grant steamed <laughs> town in Pakistan. <laughs> um, you know where I could buy a prosty? <laughs> a prosty. Well, what happened? They threw him shit. into the ocean, right? Yeah, we got no proof. Mm -hmm. So there's man. no proof. I want to see his head. There's yeah. a couple of pics, right? But he those died, doctor. Like, I like that uh, 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 Sam bin Laden and Jack from Titanic died the same way. Yeah, it's romantic. <laughs> <laughs> they, the SEAL Team 6 kissed him on the lips. Sunk under the water. <laughs> <laughs> That's pretty tight. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, dude. There should be a big Osama bin Laden grave and memorial. Yeah, uh, you know? And we should put a beard on the top of the Washington Monument. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, that way it'll be bait for terrorists. That's true. They'll come to be like, oh, to I got to give see respect, what's up, pay res my yeah. respects to Osama. Uh -huh. And we have Chris Kyle and we fly a plane into something. It. Yeah. And that's Ooh. what we should have done. We should have we should have made. That's we should have let them turn Ground Zero into a mosque, rebuild the towers <laughs> mm -hmm. as mosques, mm -hmm. create the biggest mosque in and the Western we not world, live in that. fill it with Muslims, mm -hmm. blammo, yeah. plane, <laughs> right Air Force the, One, yeah, flying Air Force One directly. Yeah. Into it. If Trump, if that's the way Trump went out, I would be like, salute. Yeah, I would be like, all right, <laughs> a big red, white, and blue chemtrail going straight into the tower. Yeah, <laughs> that would be good. I love that. You guys excited for Hillary twenty? 20? Yep, she's coming back, baby. It's gonna happen, and I'm ready. Um, Joy Ann Reed, what is it? The, the, that lady's homophobic, she's homophobic or something. Yeah, yeah, she had old blog posts where she's like, honestly, it is disgusting to look at gay guys kiss each other. <laughs> it does yeah. make you want to throw up. <laughs> <laughs> and then she said, apparently, she said that Russia hacked her old blog, which isn't even online anymore. Awesome. Yeah. Yeah, it'll be awesome when Hillary runs again and everyone's like, doesn't blame her for losing and then she loses to Trump again. Yeah. Plus, Bernie's no, it'd be great if old. Trump doesn't Bernie's even run. Old, and yeah. It's just a... Bernie's 79, right? It's a guy that collects knives. <laughs> it's like, I'm, I'm running for president as part of the knife party. <laughs> it's all different collections of butterfly knives and blades and things I enjoy of that Dude, nature. Flips. They're like, what are you going to do about the economy? He's like, I don't know nothing about that. I just collect knives. <laughs> That's my platform. They're like, well, what are, how about Syria? What are we going to do with Syria? Again, I don't know how more direct I could be. <laughs> I collect knives, and I'm a knife enthusiast, and if you have questions about knives, I will answer them. And everyone's, like, clapping. <laughs> and Hillary's like, we're going to kill all the children in Syria. They're like, boo, you could have just... 
deflected like you're losing nothing. <laughs> you're losing to a knife at the end. <laughs> oh man. Yeah, um this week was really annoying cuz Emmanuel Macron was visiting um the White House and he's married to his old teacher from school. She's like 30 years older than him. Really? She was his French teacher. I guess what she's the hot French teacher. It's like the most French thing ever. Are you serious? Would, That's his fucked, wife? He fucks his teacher as a child and then grew, grew up and made her a wife. Which wow. Cool. Yeah, we all everybody knows that story already. Yeah. Whatever. I don't but, know that. But everyone's like sh- showing pictures, <laughs> pictures of Melania and uh Trump yeah, and it's then a secret. Macron Shut and the old lady, and they're like, "I wish our, <laughs> I wish our president was as in love as the French president with this old lady." They're like, "Yeah, isn't it pathetic that we remember when we had Obama and he used to?" I like love when my cuddle, president cuddles his wife. Yeah, yeah. He used to, he used to top and bottom and bottom from the top and. Yeah. For dunk her. It sucks that we get Blumpkins from her. It is funny because the only cool thing about Trump is that he fucks. Yeah. <laughs> you know, that's <laughs> the only cool thing about him. In yeah. Theory. Why did the, the left keeps trying to promote that he has sex yeah. with people? It's pretty so, cool. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, he sucks, but it is cool that he fucks. Um, I mean, he fucks in that weird rich guy way. He's not good at fucking, probably. I think Stormy Daniels and the Playboy girl said he was good at fucking and that his dick was good. Really? I think yeah. so. Nice. Yeah. All right. Mm-hmm. Okay, respect, Donald. She says she got piped this down. This is the her. day Donald Trump became president. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Today is the day that I found out his dick was pretty good. <laughs> <laughs> Donald Trump became you know president. He's like, respect. do you really want to trust the economy with a man that just collects knives? And the <laughs> knife guy just pulls his cock out. And he's like, <laughs> he's waving it around. He's just that's a pretty nice cock. Nice cock. Yeah, 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 yeah. Whoa. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's a pretty nice hog you got there, sir. Yo, what is, you know what is going to suck? I didn't want to have to do this. I just wanted to discuss <laughs> knives. It was the only thing I came here it's to do. It's a last resort. <laughs> when you push a man to his limits, it's gonna sometimes take he's got to pull his cock out. <laughs> That's how I resolve disputes both on the national stage and while waiting in line at Arby's. <laughs> um, isn't Joe Biden going to probably run for president? Yeah, too? he's old as fuck, too. Yeah. And he's a fucking sexual predator also. Did Hell yeah. Oh, because nice. his son has brain cancer? Yeah. because Well, you get one yeah. if your son gets cancer. Yeah. If your son gets brain cancer. I think his wife and kid also died in a, in a terrible car Damn. accident. Damn. That's, yeah. that's 1.75. Yeah. He's lost a lot of kids, that guy. Strange. Hmm. I'm not going to say. Or why. maybe. Or maybe. Maybe God is punishing him. Yeah. You know? For not ripping that. enough. For not, yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> the Muslim old. God is <laughs> The, the redneck Muslim God. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Inshallah. Yeah. Um, who should we get to run for president, guys? Not The Rock, not Oprah. We need a, ca- a candidate for Larry the, the Cable Guy. Yeah, that's it. That Larry the Cable Guy literally could win. Yeah, probably. <laughs> yeah. As, I mean, if Trump won, dude. As Larry the Cable Guy, he would win, not yeah. as Dan Wick. Yeah, yeah, no, right. no, 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 yeah. of course. And then there would be the huge, first character be a president. Huge expose. <laughs> 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 He's not actually. <laughs> yeah, Hillary's like, drop it. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> the, yeah, yeah. the week before the election. Yeah, people like, knew that already. Yeah. <laughs> He's yeah. actually from Florida. <laughs> <laughs> I think it would actually work. Be like, <gasps> what? <laughs> He's yeah. not a cable guy. Yeah, Hillary loses to yeah. Alexa. <laughs> <laughs> Hillary loses to one of Jeff Dunham's puppets. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> to Peanut. <laughs> it's been a puppet with a man's hand in his ass this whole time. Shut up, bitch. <laughs> Boo. Pull your cock out, sweetie. <laughs> and that man is Vladimir Putin. Yeah. Damn. Uh, you think there's going to be a trans Republican candidate before there's a... Uh, of course, dude. Democrat Caitlin. One? Yeah, probably. Yeah. Ooh, Caitlin. The best was during the election when she was we'll like... We're shoot guns today. Where? It's wow, a nice There's stage. a place in Manhattan. In yeah, Manhattan. no, you have to go out of the city. There's an pl- indoor shooting range in We Manhattan. should go do that this week. If we have another rainy day, we should I'm go shoot guns. I'm tomorrow to go see my family. Fuck. Uh, but when I'm back, yeah. <laughs> or him, we're going. Tell them we have to go shoot firearms. Oh, I don't know if this one's coming out tomorrow or if the other one's coming out tomorrow. But we are going to Baltimore next. Week. Oh yeah, he yeah. just he just messaged me. Okay, great. So, so announcing talk. officially right now. Stop uh, we can it. announce. Yeah, we will be at the Auto Bar 
in Baltimore on Sunday the 6th. The little impromptu show. Secret show. Little, basically a secret show, but please come out to that. We're going to do a live podcast. Uh, just the boys getting our nuts sucked in Baltimore. So please come out to that, guys. The 6th. That is, that's basically Sunday. in a week and a half at this point. So... It's very soon. It's very soon. It's probably a bad idea that we're doing this, but hey, who gives a fuck? But we're going. We're gonna have fun in Baltimore. We're gonna have a fun weekend, and we yeah. booked a f- show around. Yeah, there. this we're gonna sell like five tickets. Yeah, it's you gonna think? be. Should we? How much should we? Pay, how much should tickets be? Um, we'll talk about that. Right. Yeah, that's not. <laughs> uh, but a hundred dollars. Yeah, <laughs> actually, so that's, not five, con- that's not a bad. That's not a bad idea. We sell five. Six hundred. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, there you go. All right. Yeah, I actually um, think now that I'm thinking about it, it's probably a bad idea to do a Baltimore show so soon after the DC show. It's not so it's not soon. soon. It's four months. Yeah, but in procrastination time, it's been like two weeks for us. Yeah, <laughs> yeah it feels like that. Well, yeah. like like it fucking matters. Like we would prepare for it anyway. You, you know, know what matters? I mean? Black lives. Yep. that's true. Yeah, that's the only thing. That that's matters. a little taste of the stuff we're gonna be talking we'll about. Con- in Baltimore. We're, we're gonna get a little more serious at that Baltimore yeah. show. Uh, we're gonna have special guest. Sheila Dixon will be there. And the Mr. Mayor. Tom How about Myers. the new Subway mascot? Oh, fuck. Should we, tr- should we offer Tom like six grand? He won't do it. He's mad at show. Nick. <laughs> He's mad at me. And then people keep, people are like being mean to Tom. And it's like, I'm never, I've never been mean to Tom. The only thing I've ever You've done been mean to Tom. is You've publicly exclusively <laughs> been mean to Tom. I know. In, on the podcast, in person, every at that show that you opened for him and mocked him six years ago. Pitchforks. What was I'm it not called? mean to him. It's just like I'm realistic about what Tom is, but I wish him the best. And it's like we love you him too. Him. Tom's, hilarious. Actually, Tom's hilarious. I literally do. Yeah. He doesn't understand why he's funny. It's the same thing that's, with, with Seth. It's right. like, you know, it's right. a guy that's like very funny, but not for the reasons they want to be. He yeah, is yeah, not yeah, on yeah. purpose funny. Yeah. So he is very funny. Bong which, hit transplant is a great joke. Which is like, as a comedian, like, p- you're always going to be partially that, you know? Yeah, I mean, of course. no, there's nothing fucking worse than the comedian that takes himself seriously. Yeah. Which, you know? which Tom does. <laughs> which which is, is, of course. Which is yeah. great, which is also sort of what's great. You know, how awesome would it be right. if it Tom like just leaned into it and let it and like open for us at every Please. live show? Like you, uh, could, that would be going to harass. Him. I've never said anything bad about Tom, and he t- he acts like I'm t- calling him like a shittiest comic in the world or so. I mean, I did, but yeah. You know, it's like, <laughs> so did Nikki. Yeah. I mean, okay. How about yeah? This? That's Baltimore. We're just going to give though. Tom all of door. Yeah, Tom gets the whole door. <laughs> if Dude, he, Tom, if you're he, listening. I love Tom. that picture he posted. It's like, the return of Ron oh, Bender. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> and he's just in a wheelchair now. <laughs> no, he, he posted a, on his... On his <laughs> <laughs> that poor man. Jesus Christ, man. Yeah, don't take a pic, man. <laughs> the, <laughs> the triumphant <laughs> return. <laughs> oh, God. He's healing he posted, from the gout surgery uh, quite nicely. Uh, oh, God. <laughs> he posted a pic of that tweet Lewis did of like everyone's asking me to book this guy Tom Myers it must be pretty cool and Tom posted on Instagram was like how's your day going everybody yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I hope he does it yeah everyone's requesting this guy and I still probably won't book him <laughs> how's your day <laughs> <laughs> how's he, what are you guys up to you know he adjusted the belt <laughs> just <laughs> like he did before I'm gonna sign up to be yeah. an intern I love that tweet where he was like uh it's like, oh, yeah, it's, uh, it's nice to see a video of former open mic extraordinaire. Yeah. So I was like, what do you mean by that? That I'm a professional comedian? Yeah, now? former yeah. open mic there. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Formerly <laughs> very promising open <laughs> micer that became a good comic. <laughs> it's paid to do stand up comedy now. Yeah. <laughs> Anyways, he goes, yeah, musing on bits I haven't done for 10 years. It's not my fault the guy can't get over a bad performance from the Bush era. <laughs> <laughs> While Bush was still in office, it's like, how did you manage to work in George W. Bush <laughs> into this defense of yourself? Oh, he's, That's he's so something. good. Sorry, I'm texting the fucking the auto bar guy right oh, now. Oh, great. Yeah. Okay, so the six of sounds like, let me see your cock. So yeah, I'm like, come on, dude. <laughs> we'll do whatever. I don't care the money. Fuck the money. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Just, let's just see it. <laughs> just please. Just if not through text and when I'm there. <laughs> Promise me I get to see your <laughs> cock when I'm there. I'll tell you, you're a fucking good guy. I know that everyone says that about you. I'll take your word. Autobar is like kind of like punk 
kind of yeah. metal. You won't feel vibe. comfortable there. I've yeah, been there. Us, the before. bad boys of fucking comedy. You've never, but you've never been in a cool. I place did that show. <laughs> what was the show they used to do there? Adam gets Chuckle his drinks at, at at Jim Barry. That's where he goes. That's his <laughs> yeah. favorite bar. Yeah, they have a ball pit there. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I would no joke. A Adam bar goes with a ball to the pit children's would place. That would be kind of drinks. Tight. Yeah, I drink cocktails that. in a ball pit. Dude, when I was working in the mall one time, there yeah. was a children's place. It was a two level mall, and like you, the, the, like it was a walkway, so you could like see down to the lower uh-huh. level of the mall from the walkway. And uh, my boss at the kiosk like points over, and he's like, "What the fuck is this dude doing?" And there's just this like his like this day laborer looking guy, and he's got a like a, a VHS camcorder, just pointed at the children's no! place. No, no, dude. <laughs> Yeah, from over oh the, my uh, god uh, yeah. Jesus Christ I was having like chest pains laughing <laughs> <laughs> He's just smiling he had, like, <laughs> <laughs> I mean, listen. Look okay look That is obviously horrible behavior But As opposed to I guess Abducting one of those children and having sex right. with them? Right. It's just casing the joint. That's okay. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> just do a little scouting. Yeah. yeah. He's like, where are all the emergency exits? Mm. <laughs> how is it? Hey, how much were the little one? <laughs> <laughs> I want the little one with the Winnie the Pooh shirt. <laughs> He's like, hey, we have the same clothes. Yeah, we wear the same. Yeah, he's confused about. Yeah. She thinks children's place where you buy <laughs> children to fuck. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I like one of the children in your place, please. <laughs> oh yeah, that is the name of that place. <laughs> Damn, um, I would love a ball pit though. It must be. I've. I bet. Do you think anyone's? I mean, I'm sure someone has fucked in a ball pit, but. Yeah, for That'd be sure. Pretty fun. Mm-hmm. I used to have a recurring nightmare that I was like at the bottom of one, and I was trying to swim up to to the top. Swim? You know, like get up above the balls, and then I was constantly just not able to. Interesting. When I was a little kid, I wake up screaming. Really? You were scared I of that? Sleep with my mom. Yeah. yeah? I used to I suck on her fucking tits and shit. I used to sleep with my mom. <laughs> yeah, nice dude. I used, to, I used to pee on my dad and say, "Get the fuck out of bed." Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ed- edit some fun. Oedipus shit. Yeah. She's my baby. <clears throat> you know what? What happened to Oedipus was some fucked up shit, man. It was super fucked up. Yeah, he gouged guy, his eyes out at the that's end. That's fucked, right? dude. Yeah. Poor guy. Poor guy. He didn't know he was, what he was doing. He's gonna fuck his mom. That sucks, dude. <clears throat> right, Nick? What do you yeah, think about I Oedipus? I don't know. I had a little bit of indigestion there for a second. You okay? Yeah, because you, you, I confuse it for heart pain all the time. Oh, so, do you, so you think what you're do you dying? Take, do you take something for it? Do you take Tums or? Nah. Zantac what about fish oil? Is that good for you? I try to eat a lot of fish. Yeah, omega threes are good. I just bought some fish oil. I bought yeah, I have some too. Really? Yeah. I, the I thing I don't like about fish oil is you always burp it up. Well, I don't know. Is it like vitamins? Whenever I take vitamins in the morning, fish oil. Just... Fish oil isn't like vitamins because it's not. You are supplementing, but it's like it's just fat, so your body will absorb it. I, I just mean, it's pee food. Like neon. It has like caloric content. That's from taking like uh, B vitamins. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. So you piss those out right away. So they don't do anything. Any any water soluble vitamin, yeah, you're gonna absorb some of it. But any water soluble vitamin, if you get an excess of it, your body will just piss it out right away. Fat soluble ones are like there's a toxicity level that you have to keep in mind. Hmm. Those are like what A K E and I don't know, man. I'm trying yeah, to be we're healthy. A scientist. I'm trying no, to be healthy I just now. I, I mean I'm probably wrong about that. Even I, I, like I don't, I don't really know much about fucking vitamins and shit. I think it's a crock. I think it's a. I think I th- vitamins are all bullshit. I think it is for the most part, but yeah, I mean yeah. it doesn't hurt to supplement. Sure, you know, you're gonna absorb some of it. Yeah, my body hurts from my extreme day of cycling yesterday. Yeah, you yeah. cycled three burrows. like tw- yeah, like twenty miles, baby. That's and I'm, pretty good. And my butt cheeks hurt, and I hit the gym. I was benching. I was doing curls. Like I said, I'm gonna have big arms this summer. Uh-huh. You're gonna yeah. see me out in the fucking beach on Brighton Beach. Get my phone. You want to go? You want to do a six-week arm block? Sure. Yeah, we'll do What's it. That? Well, I'll when write up a program. That? You're not invited. I'm <laughs> yeah. not. I don't want to be there. Me and Stav are just gonna get big arms. I would love that. Yeah. Love, I would love to get big arms. People man. love how. You know, I've been getting a real, a real nice pump. Is you do whatever your curl bullshit you're doing, and then you take a resistance band, and you really just fucking rep it out with the resistance band at the end. You get a real nice pump going. Resistance band like the like the little rubber band. Yeah, those rubber bands. And you, yeah, just you just step, what, you step on it. On it and you then step on it. And then you use like a hammer curl grip and you just mm. pull them up. 
and then it's more more tension at the top where it's like, okay. Yeah, yeah, I'll yeah. fuck with that. Yeah. I also I bought home gym equipment. I bought a little bench that goes under my bed, and mm-hmm. I can pull it right back right those up. Those are nice. Yeah. yeah. And then I bought those fucking Bowflex dumbbells, so you can adjust the weight. I might get some resistance bands too. How though, much you know are those? Those are expensive. They're like hey, hundred bucks for right? fitness. No, like three hundred bucks. Three hundred bucks. Yeah. Fuck. To look fucking good for as hell. Two? Yeah, for two. What the yeah. fuck? To look good right. as hell. Doesn't matter, dude. Three hundred. Mm-hmm. I'm toothless. I'm gonna have a little mustache. How heavy I'm gonna do have they big get? Arms. Uh, seven thousand, seven hundred pounds. In, in one, 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 one dumbbell. Seven hundred. That one hundred forty pound weight vest I bought was three hundred dollars. Three hundred dollars. Yeah, weights cost a lot of money. They're it's expensive. Yeah, they are. And then the post office refused to deliver. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. It hasn't arrived by the way. The bench came and I ordered them the same time. The weights aren't here, so and you got it yeah. on like Prime or yeah, something. Yeah, I got that so. poor fucking USPS guy. Fuck him. That's his job, dude. Yeah. Fuck oh, him. Yeah. Fuck him. Fuck that man. Fuck him. Fuck. I hope he dies hope bringing <laughs> the package <laughs> onto the truck. <laughs> yeah. I need those things that I'm going to curl four times max, probably. Yeah. How fucking expensive a letter is, and it takes like no effort to. That's true. That's a good point. Most of the shit is fucking bullshit. Yeah. Every once in a while, you got to fucking do some Bowflex shit. Yeah. That ain't my fault. Yeah. I've got to look fucking shredded this summer. Right. I'm trying to get my nuts sucked out mm-hmm. on Brighton, like I said. Mm-hmm. Why Brighton Beach? I don't know. That's a yeah, like why, why the worst people? beach in yeah. East Coast? I don't know. I'm, never, I'm actually never going to go it's there. It's not the worst beach. It's kind of it's kind of. What's weird. the one? The Rockaways. That's the one I go to. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. We should go to the beach where um, you can cool, see titties? cool girls go during the week. And see their titties? And... Yeah, but they have their titties out. Not that oh, I'm going to yeah. look at I them. I love seeing big titty babes out on the beach having a big summertime titty. 100%, babe. I I literally do love that. I don't love I it. I think it's cool. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I don't enjoy it. I think it's I cool. I think women should be chaste. <laughs> Dude, you're going to go Islam. Isn't it chaste? <laughs> chaste? Chaste. Yeah. It's chaste? I think so, yeah. It's not chaste like chastity? chastity? No, it's chaste. I think it's chaste. I knew that from Mormon kids But you don't up. say chastity. You, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's two different words yeah. from a similar. You don't fuck me up like that. Lambast and lambaste. Yeah, lambasted, lambast. lambasted and lambaste. Yes. Oh, lambaste. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Why don't you lambaste my cock and butter and suck it? Why don't you shut up? <laughs> <laughs> How about that, motherfucker? What? Yeah. yeah. That's why. Sh- that's why they don't fuck with the, the insult, kid. Are you fucking serious, man? Yeah, I don't want to shut. You up. come into my house, you better pull your pants down and get ready to have your dick pointed. My at. dick is out. I'm gonna point at your dick until it comes <laughs> from being small. <laughs> I wish I could p- come in that kind of fashion. <laughs> yeah, just a woman pointing at your dick, and you know, ah, yeah, that's cool. The David Blaine <clears throat> of nutting. What's the fastest way you've come or have come? Sex? Me. Just by accident. Yeah. Really? Yeah. What do you mean? Just like sometimes you just slips on a banana peel. Yeah. No, sometimes <laughs> you like just with yeah. no friction or. Oh, no, no. I mean, yeah, no. I mean, I have to have my like dick yeah. in a pussy. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, but sometimes yeah. you get carried away like early oh, on. Yeah, yeah. And you're yeah, like, oh, f- oh, whoops. Yeah, Sorry. Yeah. Yeah. yeah I've, I love busting early. Do you? <laughs> yeah. Uh, it's like getting out of school at like noon. <laughs> yeah. It's, like a, it's half a half day, day baby. Yeah. <laughs> All right, you finish yourself off. Yeah. I'm going to go have an ice cream cone. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, why is that? Smoke weed at McDonald's. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'll bust. Uh, it's like I have no in between, dude. I either bust immediately, which. Or really Im- long? <laughs> immediately? Well, no, no, no. Like we're talking like. One pump. No. Five pumps. <laughs> Within five minutes of starting fuck. Yes, like okay, right at the five-minute mark okay, probably. That's, th- that's th- Yeah, that's way too early. For me, coming early is like within the first ten minutes. No, yeah, that's or or I'll or I just like can't. Cu- it's like I have to have my nuts sucked in a specific way and like get beat off and like. You're hard, but you can't bust. Yes, either yeah. I bust so fast or it takes me a while to bust. Mm-hmm. And either way, it's not good. You don't feel good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, because if you bust early, you're a fucking bitch. And then yeah. if you can't bust, it's like, what the fuck? What's going That's on? And you're a bitch. It's, it's, and you're also it's better to yeah. just not fuck. It's better to live in a world where you don't fuck. Just lift. You just lift. <laughs> <laughs> you just lift I mean, honestly, yeah, kind of. Yeah, yeah. Because you always get better at lifting weights. You get progressively kind of worse at fucking. No, I'm. I feel like I'm better at fucking every year. Really? I'm putting you tricks in my bag. Yeah, I was you know? pretty bad at fucking. I feel like I was better at fucking when time. I was like 23. I think I didn't get like confident. I thought like my thing is that older I get, the less I care. Uh huh. You know, mm-hmm. it's like, well, I want this other person to have a good time. It's like, no, I just want to die. <laughs> <laughs> I just want to be dead, and I don't want to have to fucking do this anymore. 
I think until like maybe twenty seven. This is a prison. <laughs> Sex. It's a fuck. Yeah, it's a fucking. It's a goddamn a fuck prison. Yes, it's you can't escape it. It's something you just fucking have to and do. And the everything way you is, pass time in regular prison, rape. Exactly. You're basically, already. It's true. That's how. That's how much of a prison that fucking is. That even in prison. It's you're still, still there. <laughs> you can't get away from you it. You can't. Yeah, unless you're in solitary. No, those guys jack off in there. Yeah, they mm. got to jack. You have to. You got to jack off. It's that's the probably the only reward insanity. you have. God damn. But lifting weights, that's freedom. Maybe you'll be uh, reincarnated as uh, Vienna Boys Choir, just like a high voiced castrato. They don't mm. still have castratos, do they? Yeah, a weightlifting castrata. <laughs> yeah. yeah, Saudi Arabia might have some shit like that. They feel like they're still cutting people's dicks off to sing good. Yeah, I think Iran does that. Iran's uh, Olympic weightlifting program—they remove the genitals of all the. <laughs> Iran <laughs> does sex changes like paid for by the government. Yeah, yeah, yeah. that's pretty cool. Yeah, they're I think if they find out you're gay, they the government makes you become a woman. Oh, Adam Adam was yeah. researching how to get a sex change for free. <laughs> Severely discounted <Good> sex changes. <laughs> Good deal. He's not even trans. Yeah. He just loves the, <laughs> loves the bargain. All right, guys. All right, guys. Here's a, I, you guys have been asking for it. Here's Adam's deal corner. If you <laughs> if you want a sex change, just be gay in Iran. <laughs> um, by the way, you look so much better without that mustache, dude. Oh, thank you. You can't. Do pull I? Off, you can't pull off a mustache. Um, yeah. Well, I'm going to see my mother tomorrow. You look she, cute. You she look does cute. Not like it. She doesn't she like does the stash. not like the stash. My little brother said he liked my stash. My girlfriend likes it. You're, I like your mustache a lot. Thank you. Yeah, it, appreciate it. It balances your face out. Thank you. Thank no, you. No, a man was telling me how attracted he was to you last oh, night. Oh, nice. Yeah. Uh, is he gay? No. Is uh, Nick Nanny? Oh, uh, <laughs> Nanny. He was like, yeah. Before I even knew him, I just looked at his Facebook pictures. So. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I found him to be really attractive. <laughs> <laughs> That's good. Yeah. Maybe I can fuck Nanny in the ass. He's doing our show next month. Next, yeah, next month, and I, I, I don't think he'll cancel. No, no, he he's won't. not a canceled boy. Not like Tim Dillon. Not like Tim Dillon who who had to go uh, trying you flavor of caramel, and that's why he no he be did there another Monday. show. Yeah, I, I saw. Know, I know, but yeah, still. Uh, yeah that uh, show looked good. <laughs> yeah, it was good. <laughs> um, <clears throat> anyway, um, wh- why are you destroying that can, Nick? I'm practicing cutting. <laughs> <laughs> How about like a relationship where the the boyfriend helps the girl cut? <laughs> <laughs> that's love, dude. Yeah, I don't know why that's so funny to me. But <laughs> it's like, yeah, I'll help you. I'll cut you, babe. <laughs> There's definitely fucking... I, I feel like in good. high school, you would do whatever it took oh, to of see course, pussy. yeah. I would have done whatever the fuck it took. I, probably, I don't know if I would have killed, but I would have been like an accomplice of some crime to fuck in high school. It sort of makes sense that girl that was like telling her boyfriend to kill himself like in the context of high school it's like oh yeah that makes sense yeah except like i'm sad sometimes and she's like yeah you should kill yourself (laughs) have you done it did you do it yeah Yeah. which is really just are fucking retarded yeah teenagers are like (laughs) insane do you think i mean he must have gotten some head for for of course he got head like a couple times Nice. For sure. Well, yeah. hey, man. It's like, and can you imagine how much more retarded the retarded teenagers are? Oh, wow. And so you think about guys like that that are like 30 and they've been working at the movie theater for 15 years. Like, oh, I don't even want to think about <laughs> what my wife was like. <laughs> <laughs> shit I was into, <laughs> different types of Oakley sunglasses. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to bring back uh, Oakley's behind the neck this summer. Do people oh, yeah. used to do that in the Maryland area? Oh, no, I don't know what that, that was. Is. like a West Coast bro thing where you wear your sunglasses when you're inside behind mm. your neck. You know what I was really into for a second was where, as a little kid, I was into all these weird, like, uh, I just wanted to look cool from TV. Uh-huh. So I was into putting your glasses, like, right, right at, like, your neckline mm-hmm. and then also uh, tying a sweater around my waist. Oh, yeah. You know, like, dying, like dying a sweater around waist. I thought that looked cool. That was a big look like Mighty Ducks era. Yeah, exactly. Okay, Adam, I made a house for you. You can live there instead of your little business. Mm. I'm not going to live in that You can, can live in this can. In that LaCroix can. <laughs> Well, you, didn't, didn't <laughs> you fucking idiot! Just the way I want. Nick, Nick cut a hole in a Lacroix can and then tried and to drink it, <laughs> and, and it spilled it. all over his sweater. That's the way. What to an do, idiot! Baby. Over his Forever Twenty One sweater mm-hmm. that Look, he bought in the girls' section. Beads right off. 
Not a single drop on me. Wow, I didn't dude. know that they make boys forever 21. I didn't either, but we went in there just because I needed a sweatshirt. Because it was cold. Yeah, it was cold. How late is that place open? Like 11? Uh, 10, 10 p.m. That's where you go to get fucking... That's where that's where all the good pussy is, dude. Forever 21. You go at 10 o'clock at Forever 21. Uh-huh. Yeah. Ooh, Hit that clearance rack. The late, the mm-hmm. late oh, yeah. shift. Yeah. You meet up with some Chinese girls first year at NYU. <laughs> They're like, I need to buy clothes. <laughs> like, yeah, well, why don't you come over to my apartment? It's in Brooklyn. <laughs> cool. <laughs> Pretty far away from campus. <laughs> so uh, don't make plans to be back <laughs> anytime soon. <laughs> <clears throat> Um, damn, dude, I got some chicken thighs waiting for me at home. I'm a Do meal you? prep guy now. Yeah, <coughs> but I'm marinating too. I'm marinating everything, dude. I Lemon juice, garlic, unbone, unbone of course. Unbone. I mean, I blended More up flavor. a nice little uh, uh, sauce for salmon and asparagus. Mm, what do we got? You no, know, but you just uh, you blend ginger, garlic cloves. Okay. You have a two, like, that is nice. Two or three garlic cloves, a couple of slices of ginger. A quarter of a lemon. Don't just squeeze lemon juice in there. You got to put the lemon actually. The in whole there. thing, the rind, everything. Uh, no, no, not the rind. You peel that part off, but you quarter the lemon. I love that. Quarter of a lemon. Oh, you're in saying there. the yeah. gets a little more body. A couple of dollops of honey, some oregano, Maybe some soy sauce. No, no soy sauce at all. Mm, I, don't, I think a little bit of honey. Oregano. I don't want to overstep my bound, but I think a little soy sauce might do the part. Well, I got to avoid do, salt. How do you do salmon? What do you, you broil it? You broil? Of course. Always broil no, salmon. Of course. No, we've had of this course. argument before on the podcast. Yes. All right. You, we don't have to talk about it. Yeah. I, you're I, right, because you're make fucking for, wrong. I make the perfect sense. I know. I, I broil, I it, I broil it on low, on the low setting on the broiler for maybe about 30 minutes just to cook oh, the really? fish. Yeah. I blast the fuck out of it. No, no. I do at the end. I do like five minutes at the end on high okay. to get the top crispy. Okay. Respect. Yeah. No. Yeah, you're, I, I, just know. you're what a do you pan mean? I make fry much guy. better salmon than you. Yeah. You're a fucking You go imbecile. skin down on the pan. You cook it most of the way through. You flip it for five seconds. You serve it. Shut That's the it. Fuck up, pan fried salmon. You don't know dude. what you're talking about. It's That's trashy, like, brother. Yeah. It's not trash. That's how white trash fucking makes salmon. No, that's how Alton Brown, the best chef of Alton all time, Brown can suck it. my fucking Alton nuts. Alton Brown's a fucking bitch, dude. And yeah. if he <laughs> ever comes on the show, I'll cut him. <laughs> yep. I'll fucking slice his ass up. No, I don't like you talking about Alton that way, dude. Yeah. It's like I want to get it. I want to become. You think I can have a Food Network show someday? That'd yeah. be cool. Actually. I think that's actually. What well, I maybe get. you'd have no, one you, of those. Alexis like, tried. I'm that. traveling around. Huh? Alexis tried that. Wasn't he supposed to have a Food Network show? What happened to that? He got a. I, I thought he got a development a deal? deal. Yeah, maybe for pizza, probably. Uh, yeah, but it never. I don't know pizza. what happened with that. He loved secret. Because that was this was years ago already. But I thought oh, that I don't was remember that. Because it seemed like that was his whole thing, so it made sense that that would well, happen. He used to do like pizza tours. And he I still figured, does pizza tours. Yeah, he still does pizza tours. But anyway, I want to be I want to be friends with celebrity chefs. How are we going to do that? You can um you'd be good at like having one of those travel like eating things. Yeah, kind of shows. exactly. Yeah. Yeah. I'm going to make my Food Network debut on my Oh, I don't know yeah. if I can talk Cho- about it. a chode on the road. What? And you go to different restaurants. A chode on the road. <laughs> <laughs> that guy and, I only, and I can only eat foods that are wider than they are long. <laughs> <laughs> that guy Adam Richmond was a stand-up, right? Yeah. Was he? Maybe not. Yeah, I, I, I forget so. who I was talking to one time, but they were like, yo, my buddy met him in real life, and he's actually a lot fatter than he looks on TV. <laughs> <laughs> it's yeah, like, yeah, sweet. he looks pretty fat on TV. I <laughs> told you I told you guys how Eldis got blocked because he was trolling him on Twitter. He kept sending him DMs and asking him what his shits look like. <laughs> 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 uh, that's rude of Eldis to do that to a man who looks exactly like Eldis. <laughs> yeah. He looks the like same a, body. He's got a better body than Eldis. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Eldis has a woman's fat a fat woman's body. He does. He's uh, got a big gym teacher body. Yeah. Oh, yeah. A lesbian gym teacher. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but with a very, very furry asshole. Stop. Have you seen my whistle? <laughs> <laughs> Have you seen my whistle and my my 37-inch shorts? <laughs> <clears throat> what? Are, okay, guys. So what do you guys think? In su- what are your summer style guides? You know, what's in um, this summer? I'm this going season. heavy. Sun's out, guns out, baby. Cut all the sleeves off every T-shirt okay. you have. Uh, you, go to, you go to Kmart, you get the most ironic graphic tee mm-hmm, you can find. Mm-hmm, which, mm-hmm. by the way, I lost my Chevrolet shirt. Oh, uh, bummer. You did, and that was move. That was the funniest one I had. Yeah, just the Chevy symbol? It just, it, all it said was Chevrolet on it. And I remember <laughs> buying it and then putting it on as I left Kmart and then walking around. And it would have to dip into, like... 
doorways around Manhattan to just giggle to myself. <laughs> 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 just laugh at the idea of wearing a shirt that just says Chevrolet. But you still got I'm the Bob Marley fan. one? I got the Bob Marley one. I got House, house, of, cards. house of Cards. That's, that's a number. Best that's one. a real good number now. Sleeveless House of Cards shirt is ideal. Yeah, maybe this is the year I, I go tank tops, you know, since I will have giant arms and um, yeah, by, well, we're done our. Well, it's not like run. people can't tell that you're enormously fat, so you might as well go. Yes, they can. No, they ca- they can he tell. Hides it. I hide it really well. <laughs> <laughs> he layers. I layer. I learned that on Queer Eye, you have to have vertical open, stripes, open layers, <laughs> yeah, vertical yeah. stripes. Yeah. Um, I do a lot of dazzle. Others like I, I draw the eye elsewhere. So I wear yeah, like do that. Fat, I wear a guy, tiara. fat guy, like you know, basketball jersey. So like they can see where your breasts fold over your stomach <laughs> yeah. inside. I remember that look. That's a good look, dude. That you know what? That might be me this summer, boys. <laughs> I'm going this summer. I'm going bucket hat. A lot of bucket hats. I love bucket hat. I'm, run, I'm running those back. I I've love been, those. The problem I've been is gearing up. The problem is I like them very big and I have such a big head. That I got a really big one. And it's hard. I got I one that might on? be too big for my head. Can I try it if on? You want to try it yeah, on? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, I like that look. And then I'm going uh, wallet chain. Bring that. Oh, back. nice. Uh, hell yeah. Is this because the guys going, on uh, R slash Fashion Advice said that you <laughs> you tried too hard, so now you're trying to now you're trying to go white trash? I thought you said it was Fortune, not. Oh uh, yeah, I forget what it was, but it was one of. the... Something like that. <coughs> Listen, I'm just trying to curry the favor of the 4chan fashionistas. Yeah. People still post um, on 4chan? I think so. Yeah, it's I still guess. a thing. Really? Yeah. yeah. Damn. I thought that shit was dead. Yeah, it's weird that it still exists. Yeah, yeah. it is. Damn. Now that you have Reddit. Exactly. Isn't is Reddit it? just 4chan? Yeah, basically. Except you can't post, post child porn on Reddit? You can. Really? Yeah. Where? Uh, R really? R slash... <laughs> uh, the sweetest R slash the Donald. <laughs> yeah, the Donald. Um Yeah, wasn't wasn't like 4chan sort of like a lot of the socialist people now came from something awful and then a lot of the all right people I don't came from know. 4chan. I have no idea. I have no, to Is make a generalization true? like that. You know about computers. I know, but I don't know about <laughs> social <laughs> groups. I know? just don't get like yeah. I don't know. There, were, we don't have to talk about it. Yeah, well, you brought it up. Yeah, I was. It asking. seems like you really want to talk about this. <laughs> All right. I was well, content let's... to. I brought up Grave Digger. That's the only thing I've mentioned the whole show. What about um, something else to mention? Um, Quiet Place, bad movie. You already talked yeah, about. Yeah, you that. said that. Oh. <laughs> There's like. Is Are you there... sure I didn't just say that before the show? Is no, there no, like you five... said it two episodes ago. How oh. many lines of dialogue are there in the whole movie? Um, like four. That's cool. Yeah. Do you That's see Emily Blunt's that. tits? You do. You see her pussy. You see Whoa. the baby. The baby coming out of her. Do they pussy. Pe- penetrative? Sex? And they let you masturbate in the movie theater. Now. <laughs> they, they do, do that, that yeah. Yeah. at the Alamo Draft House. Yeah, oh, they yeah. have no uh, talking, <laughs> but you can jack off. <laughs> <laughs> Guess what? We finally created a place for tattletales to feel safe. <laughs> if you yeah. text during this movie. That announcement is to be super obnoxious. On. Yeah. Wait, what happens? You can't text in there? You can't you do can't. anything. I, one of the fucking waitresses came over and she was like, Yeah, I don't text. It's like, Oh, well, you just don't want me to tip you. Okay, fine. <laughs> no, well, like. You're going to fucking, like, uh, uh, police my movie. Uh, while you were again. texting? I, uh, no, I, I had to check my phone. And it's like, it's not going to ruin the movie for anybody. I yeah. completely agree. If you think that that's going to... If, if, if somebody I texting is going agree. to ruin the movie, you have such a debilitating case of ADHD that you should be shot and killed. Also, oh, this you should be put out of your fucking misery. If seeing you a, can also hide it. A in, small in screen. Yeah, yeah, yeah you can have it on your fucking yeah, lap. And put it low. on low. And also, isn't there tables that you could duck Yeah, under? that's what I was yeah. going to say. The seats have tables. You can like look at it under the table, and they're like pretty far apart from each yeah, other. Yeah, the tables have lights on them, by the way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, <laughs> yeah that's true. Yeah. Well, which is more uh, brighter than one cell phone. But you know what it is? Once people see the cell phone, they get jealous. They're like, damn. They're I like, I want to be on my phone. phone. Yeah, that's true. Every time I see someone checking their phone, I'm like, I want to do that. I went to the draft house uh, when I first got movie pass to see like uh, like a noon movie. Uh-huh. And they were like, just so you know, it's a family viewing. And I was like, I didn't know what that meant. And I it means went that in. you can bring kids. Yeah. Because you was, can't bring kids otherwise. Yeah, there was, uh, oh. there was like, 15 babies. Oh my god. At I Tanya. It was me and a bunch of moms and Brutal. like 15 babies. And it was very annoying. I got to say. Of course it was. They were like crying and stuff. Yeah, of course it was annoying. Yeah. 
They were crying. And I didn't really like I Tanya. And then they were they were they were sucking on a their little binky, and you were jealous. How about guy Tanya, you know. <laughs> yeah, yes. that's what I'm talking about the okay. Rock. And it's guys only. Yeah. No mm-hmm. family viewings. No. Okay. Just but it is, know, this is a but guy. it is the movie I tell This is a guy. Yeah. This is a guy viewing of the movie, so you're allowed to jack off in the theater. <laughs> <laughs> That's pretty good. But it's the same exact movie. Um. Yeah. Nice. Yeah. <laughs> At the end, she goes to jail for not being a good wife. <laughs> for being a bad wife to her loving husband, mm-hmm. who had that woman assaulted. Oh, yeah, yeah. He, he was just trying to help her. Yeah. Jeff motherfucking Galuli, bitch. Galuli. <laughs> yeah. I guess it was, uh, hopefully this 90s obsession ends, ends soon. No, nah, this, this is what always happens. Bullshit. I feel like when we were kids, it was the 80s. Was it? Yeah. Well, like it's what? still the 80s. Stranger Things. Yeah. Yeah, maybe you're right. Maybe there's it's nothing, the 70s. There's thing. nothing current. The only, the only thing show? that takes place now that's any good is Bosch. Bosch? Uh, yeah. Bosch? I don't know. I just see the advertisements for it all the time, and I see it on Amazon Isn't Prime. that a tool movie? No. A tool? A it's thing a, of it tools? is a tool company, but it's some show on Amazon Prime. It's got uh, Titus Welliver or whatever. The fu- that sounds like a fake name. No, yeah, I know. The, everything Titus about it, Welliver? It seems like a fake Titus? show. Daniel Titus? No, it's the guy. He played... He Christopher played, Titus. Christopher Titus. He, played, uh, he played, what's it, Cyrus something on Deadwood. Uh-huh. Mm. He's that guy that comes in at the, the middle of season two on Deadwood that fights the big guy that wants to be Swearingen's. Swearingen's like number... Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Number two. Yeah, that whatever. guy, yeah. Yeah, it's the guy that is beefs with him, and then they have a fight. Dan or whatever. Dan. Dan yeah. kills him, right? I don't know if he kills them. They have a fight, and then they become friends. Mm. Oh, is that Do it? Do they kiss? I think. I, I, I mean, Dan's I cool. Seen Deadwood, like, anyway, 10 years. Anyway, wh- what's Bosch? But I have no idea. I just <laughs> see the advertisement all the time. It's like, Bosch, the new season, starting two weeks. You know? And <laughs> it seems like a fake name for a show. Yeah. I it's, have no idea. Um, you know, it's like Ray Donovan or any one of those, like, just serious streaming yeah. uh, crime, you know. Uh, yeah, uh, it's probably pretty gritty. good, but no one will watch it. Right, exactly. People do know, watch like, Ray Donovan. What the fuck is Bloodlines? I don't know what that is. Is that real? That's a show, yeah. On yeah. Netflix? There's all, these, there's all these shows like that, these serious yeah. dramas. Damn, I want to The Alienist That's is the new mm-hmm. one. You know, that's such a hilarious. Name. Damages was one I watched the first episode of that, but oh, yeah. Yeah, there's a million shows like that. But oh, burn notice, burn notice, and burn notice CIS. is different. Because burn notice is uh, is like a campy daytime. Uh, uh, it's like MacGyver. Oh, I didn't know that. Yeah, burn notice is a fun show. You know, what like was good. Angie Tribeca was funny as shit. What was that? It's like a comedy with a uh, sexy ass um, Rashida Jones. She's really? the main person, and it's yeah. like I think Steve Carell produced or something. It's fucking good. It's really well written. It's got a lot of jokes. It's kind of like feels like a Leslie um, Nielsen movie, but uh-huh. you like that kind of style like where there's Gun? like a fucking yeah. joke every like sixty nine yeah. seconds. Woo! And it's like very like uh, physical. Yeah. Plus, Rashida Jones is hot. In OJ, that's my is, like, take. Very clumsy. How about Rashida her pants? Oh, that's I like that. Yeah, Rashida bones. She shits out bones. Oh, that's cool. <laughs> cool. <laughs> Whole dog bones. Damn. Someone ate the skeleton. The class skeleton. <laughs> Who was it? Oh, probably Rashida Bones. <laughs> that woman that shits out bones. But, 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 she, but she's been shitting. In her defense, she was shitting bones even before that. Did that's you guys weird ever that have dogs to... like bones. Oh, it's, that they it like is bones. weird. It's weird on their part to... Yeah. Why? This is like... It's just chewing. They're like goth. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah they're moody. Yeah. 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 No, did you guys ever have to dissect owl pellets in yes. school? Yep. I don't no. Know. It's a an owl's vomit. It's an owl's vomit that has mice bones. Mice in bones. Oh. You have to recreate the mouse from the bones. What? In. That's it's fucked like up. Hair tangled around bones. I hated every time we had to dissect anything. I didn't. Fuck that shit was that gross. Shit. Dude. We only did the owl pellets and I think a frog. Yeah, we did in a frog seventh too. grade. Actually, you know what we did? We did like a little piglet. I think. Yeah. Really? That shit was that's fucked sad. up. Oh, that's yeah. it. Was you. No, it wasn't. It reminded you of you. It was. It was the not. teacher was like, "I want everyone to look at Stavros. <laughs> this is what we're Why? dissecting." There was a fatter kid than me in the class. <laughs> no, there wasn't. <laughs> yes, there was. <laughs> and there was a girl who looked like a pig. <laughs> she had like an upturned nose and shit. She was ugly as fuck. <laughs> <laughs> so it, it doesn't even make sense, Nick. I'm third on the list of who looks the most like a pig in that class. Yeah. Thank you very much, you guys. Uh, I still want you to look at Stavros. So. <laughs> that was also my sexy ass teacher, Miss Warner, with the big ass titties. Yeah. Did you ever dissect her titties? Did you ever dissect her tits? I wish I would have dissected her <laughs> yeah. titties. I beat off uh, to her Ms. so Miss Warner, uh, I was wondering if we maybe could dissect your tits. <laughs> <laughs> Go to the office. That's my girl, Georgia, dude. 
Georgia Warner. Yeah. yeah. She sounds hot. Is she still teaching? I don't know. I lost. I lost. If you're out there, up on Facebook. If you're out there, you I big, tried. I couldn't find her. She probably has a married it. name now. Yeah. Oh, she's married now. What Damn. a bitch. Damn. Yeah. We could have been like Macron. I've been like, yeah. I would have loved that. Emmanuel. Emmanuel. Yeah. That's my middle name, dude. Is it? After Stop Emmanuel Macron. My middle name is Danger. <laughs> Although, like I said, I will change. That would be a really gay middle name. Danger. People like my my middle name is Danger. Danger yeah. is my it's middle like, name. It's like yeah, yeah. You're a fag. You're probably a pussy. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> really oh, you had stupid, name. ironic Brooklyn parents. <laughs> 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 the name you. Yeah. <laughs> yeah I feel so bad for those kids. Oh. You, like walk around bed and you see like a fucking like. Nine year old on a razor scooter, like flipping his yeah, hair around. Yeah, in a Joy Division t shirt and yeah, shit. Yeah, yeah, right. And <laughs> yeah, it's like, man, you were going to suck. You were going <laughs> to yeah. suck so much. You will never be fucking cool. Yeah. You're going to be the, just that you're going to get accused of rape in college. Mm-hmm. You know, like you're not, you're never going to be a fucking burnout. Or you, you will rape. Move back in with your stupid fucking tattoo parents. I know, dude. Yeah. Some of those kids, I think, are going to be cool. None of them. I think the Manhattan kids always look like they're not going to be cool. Well, Manhattan, like, city kids just end up, like, cultured and then, like, incompetent. No, they so end they've up read like every book and they can't screw in a fucking light bulb or, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. you know, like, uh, order their own Some food. Some of them can be cool, though. No, a lot of them, like, the Manhattan kids get fake IDs when they're, like, 12. Yeah. yeah. They, like, get exposed to shit real. You know? Yeah, and they fuck. And then they sometimes fuck. you fuck, you know, you yeah. fuck them by accident. Sometimes, yeah. yeah. Sometimes, not, you're sometimes you can't tell when a sometimes girl's you're 11 at years of... old. <laughs> yeah. As a 30-year-old man, you're like, I thought she was 16. <laughs> <laughs> sometimes you're at one of New York's famous 14 and over raves. Yeah. And, you know, you assume everyone's around your age. Yeah, but. yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. Like R. Kelly, it's not my fault. You know, the club didn't check ID. It's not my exactly. fault. Exactly. I'm in a club. I should... You know, ooh, a suspect arrested in Golden State Killer case. There's a Golden State California? Killer. California, yeah. Who? What he do? Um, he raped and murdered. Damn, the double. That's interesting. They usually the double, don't double. catch. Yeah, it's that's cool. Maybe they'll figure out who the Zodiac is. Nah, dude. Hey, you know who it is? It's fucking Ted Cruz. The serial murder and rapist who terrorized California <laughs> in seven days. Dude, that is so funny, it's dude. The, the, the is, ser- it's, oh my Ted, God. it's Ted Cruz. You know what I like <laughs> is jokes that Gawker came up with. <laughs> <laughs> you know who's funny? Those, those, those goofballs over at Gawker Media. They come up with real it's good. Fucking Ted Cruz. <laughs> the, the disses they say to the politics. Oh, yeah. They're so good, dude. There's oh, no yeah. way Ted Cruz is is going to get over this. Oh, well. yeah. How about this? Minions. <laughs> <laughs> minions are so funny. Isn't that funny, dude? Imagine the minions saying I, Ted Cruz. That completely. <laughs> <laughs> social... Imagine one of the minions, he pops up and he's like, I can have Ted Cruz. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, that's comedy. That it whole, is funny that Ted Cruz wrote that thing in time about how cool Donald Trump is. <laughs> that is <laughs> Donald funny. Trump has just completely <laughs> fucked that guy in the ass in every he way. He called his wife ugly. Ugly yeah. and his dad killed JFK. <laughs> 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 Donald, you are a rat. <laughs> yeah, Donald, you're a liar. Donald, you, you you say something about my wife. You're you're, you're really messing. You're t- pissing me off, and I might I might I'm, I'm sorry, sir. <laughs> Please fuck my wife, <laughs> Donald. You can fuck my bitch. Dude, I look. I forgot. Maybe you can. Fuck I forgot my about those ass. tweets that he did about Cruz's wife, where he's like, "Hey, uh, hey, Ted, like." Uh, you better be careful, otherwise I'm going to spill the beans on yeah, your yeah, <laughs> yeah, like yeah, yeah, thread. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. Like <laughs> <laughs> God, it sucks that he's ruining the world because he's so funny, dude. He rocks, dude. I'm pro Trump. I'm going to vote for him. Are Ronald? You? How about that? Oh, yeah. Oh, well, Sh- dr- I mean, Sean, uh, Trump. V- Vajonald? Vajonald. Yeah. No, N word Donald. <laughs> Isn't that what we decided? We call N-word him N word Donald. Call yeah. Him the N word. What was the other thing we did at the live show? N sync, but it's <laughs> oh yeah, but it's oh, N, N star star <laughs> star. star, star. <laughs> <laughs> There's fucking people on Instagram saying my speakers are gonna fall off those mounts, bitch. I know what the fuck I'm doing. They're nice, not gonna fall man. off the fucking mounts. Nice, dude. I don't ever question my fucking word. Wait, why do you they know what's gonna happen now? I don't know what the fuck they're talking. You know about. what's gonna happen That's now weird. that you're yelling about this? You're gonna get less DMs. Yeah, talking probably. about how shitty your <laughs> your woodworking is. <laughs> So, guys, that doesn't bother Nick. Mm-hmm. <laughs> and if you're gay... Oh, this is going to fall down. 
Suck my fucking dick. Yeah, tell yeah, him. That's right. Get him, queen. Go off. <laughs> yes. Look at the people respond to Tom. Yes, Tom, go off, king. <laughs> 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 he just like, if you check his replies, there's not a single sincere reply <laughs> ever. And he's, he just he just takes it. Uh, he thinks I they're guess, fans. I guess Some it, guy DM'd me a thing where he was like, Tom, I listen to this around my kid. And, and they, yeah, it was just, and he was like, yeah, well, my comedy's not appropriate. Yeah, and then it puts a screenshot of the parental advisory logo. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he um yeah, he does the whole in that on that news interview. I guess if no me. one has ever been honest with you your entire career in comedy. Yeah, every even the dumbest, stupidest open micer trolls Tom, dude. That's how what's crazy about him. Yeah, it's so funny too, because it's like how do you know you're not that? Yeah, right. You can well, never know. Fear, that, yeah. Well, you can people, never know. People with well, that's ounce, what I'm no, 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 no. People with an ounce of self awareness are at least afraid that that's them, right? They don't know if that's them, but they're afraid it's them. Mm-hmm. Tom has absolutely no fear that he could potentially be bad. He is bro. Yeah. Well, it's did, gonna. Did you see that video of him on the local news where? Yeah, that's like, what I'm saying. Yeah. Your comedy's got you in trouble. Like before, why do you keep doing it? And he's like, uh, well, it's really no different than a firefighter going into a burning building. <laughs> nah. Police officer running to the scene of a crime. Yeah. <laughs> He goes, what? Uh, he's like, it's my job. Are you fucking yeah. kidding me? He compares himself to 9-11 first response. <laughs> <laughs> this is a direct quote from Tom. Yes, dude. Yeah, it's so good. Yeah, he clears his throat first. <clears throat> well, it's my job. And you know he's practiced clearing no his different throat and than, saying yeah, it's my yeah, job. Yeah, yeah. It's no different than... Uh, he emailed them that question. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's no different than a firefighter going into a burning building or a <laughs> police officer running to the scene of a crime. The so yeah, so you're saying that the fact that you're putting on a comedy show is a horrific tragedy. Yeah. And you're, you're addressing it professionally. <laughs> it's some sort of massacre that's happening. <laughs> and you're there to sort of mitigate the damage. We got to find a way to finesse him into doing the show on Sunday night. It's no different than a firefighter going into a burning <laughs> building. Really, Tom, it's no different. No difference. There is zero difference between Same the two of those amount. things. It's just this pressing you, of a thing. You going on happen. stage and making fun of Paul Revere <laughs> is as important <laughs> as putting a fire out <laughs> that's killing people. Those are the same thing. <laughs> There's yes. no, no difference at all between There's them. There's no difference. It's you not even a metaphor. It's just they're the same thing. <laughs> it's, not, it's no difference. Ah. <laughs> uh. <laughs> I mean, Tommy, it's also, Tommy. it's not your job. Yeah, You yeah, call yeah. Little you League don't games. Guess, yeah, you your don't job guess. is to uh, announce Little League games. Well, he works at 7-11. No, he doesn't no, work he at 7 He works at Mexican he works at the, now, the, Yeah, he works at... <laughs> yeah, I'm he's, serious. He's somebody's yeah. waiter. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> it's no different than a waiter spitting in a bucket of onion rings. <laughs> you know, it's my job. <laughs> it's my job. <laughs> it's my job. Salute to the king. Uh, what? How much do, would we have to pay him to do our show? I five mean, grand. Won't do it. That's the five thousand dollars. I think it's worth it, bro. If we offered him five thousand dollars, I think it's worth just it. Just take it out of Patreon. Take it out of Patreon. Patreon. If I'm already spending that money, then what we got to do is a podcast. It's Tom Myers and Uwe Boll. Yes, <laughs> we have them both on. But we're not even on. <laughs> it's them talking <laughs> for an hour. <laughs> <laughs> that would be. Incredible. That would be. That would be so incredible. good. Oh my just god! It's like a sociological experiment. Yeah. Uh, I'm, I, gonna, I'm gonna email Uve and tell him I'll just pay whatever the fuck he wants. What do you mean? If he wants the thirteen hundred dollars, I mean, or why or don't we, we just go to Vancouver? Go to Vancouver. Let we me email him. And then we can go to Seattle and do a show. Yeah, yeah, let's do it. Fuck it. Fucking Nirvana style. Yeah, yeah, that that's so much. That's a better use of our money. Yeah. Fuck it. A little trip to Vanky. Well, yeah, we'll, we book Old a show. Van, Van Cougar. Yeah. yeah, dude. They got uh, that. Uh, Cougar. They got that BC Cronda, British Columbia weed. Really? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Stinky. Baby, you can suck on I love the BC Crondo. That Papusa fucked me up, dude. I got heartburn now. Yeah, it's. I'm, I'm getting. I've been getting. I mean, that's art, huh? Adjusted. Right. It's pretty good. It is good. I mean, I do think that like a sensitive sort of documentary done about Tom. Yeah. Would be would be incredible. incredible. Dude, a, a documentary that's just about Tom Myers and Mike Diesel would be great. Oh my just god. Like I, I, I tell you, I, I am so grateful that I started comedy in DC when I did because there were so many unique a hundred percent fucked up yeah, people yeah, yeah. that were doing comedy there that like no, I've never experienced elsewhere. Yeah. 
You know, other people yeah. from you know what it was is because it was prior to the comedy boom. Mm. It was. It yeah, was, it was. You you don't remember because Mid-2000s, you weren't doing it. But yeah, yeah. I mean, it, yeah, you're right. It was what we're talking about. 2005, comedy. 2006. Stand people up. Co- stand up comedy was a weird was thing from Tell. like the 1980s. Yeah. It was yeah, like yeah. not something that a lot of people were doing. There were no podcasts. Right. It was not a thing that people got into. No, was, you're you're uh, right. You're the, right. The yeah, entire yeah. scene was like me and then like white guys in their late 20s that like comedy and probably had autism, and that's like what comedy was. Yeah, and uh, um, you know, before like everybody, yeah, you I, and those guys, yeah, you and well, white like guys a, with autism, I was <laughs> a seventeen year old, sixteen, yeah, seventeen, yeah, yeah, yeah. and 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 uh, I remember like distinctly, like you know, people started showing up like years later. I like asked me like, how did you get in comedy? Like, oh, I was listening to a lot of podcasts after college, and I thought maybe this looks fun. I'll try it. Mm-hmm. Whereas like you're right. No, prior no. to that, it was like, oh, it's the only thing I've ever wanted. You're to You're absolutely do. correct. Right. All the yeah, people yeah. in comedy were obsessed with comedy, and That's they just true. wanted to do stand up comedy. Yeah. Um, so that's where you got all those mentally ill people because they were obsessed with comedy. They wanted to do comedy, but they were bad at it. Right. You know, and that's where, you know, the Toms yeah. or whatever. The you I still mean, have a lot of mentally ill people. but Yeah. I mean, I am. Yeah, we all are. No, I mean, but not that, like, bad mentally ill, you know. Mm, yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm good mentally ill. Yeah, no. no I'm you're good at comedy. We're all yeah. bad mentally ill. Oh, because I did it long enough to, you know. No, no, you had a skill for it. Well, who cares? Um... Uh, he a, he anyway, also all a skill I'm saying for is, if someone did, balls. like... That's not true. <laughs> I don't have any skill at that. In fact, I've never tried. Oh, if, he's tried it. If Werner... If oh. we could get Werner... <laughs> Werner... <laughs> well, now I want to argue about it. <laughs> if we could get Werner Herzog to go to Baltimore... No, what we need to do is to get Uwe Boll and pretend he's Werner Herzog. <laughs> That's it. what we need mm-hmm. to do. Which was already my plan, but you kind of just ruined it by saying that. Oh, well, sorry. I, you didn't. I didn't want to let that out of the bag. That would have been good. All right. yeah. He would have been so mad at that. Yeah, <laughs> if we were called him. Oh, I don't know. I don't know anything about Uwe Boll. I don't know what he would I'm get. Sure he, he seems yeah. like he spends a lot of time, it's, man. It's like, uh, do you know that scene in uh, Grizzly Bad where he listens to the guy yeah, yeah. getting killed? It's like you must never play this for anybody. <laughs> it's, we should edit that, but he's listening to the body <laughs> 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 You must yeah. never, you must never listen. Well, to I'll this. tell you what. As soon as I publish this, within five minutes, Someone's Shane, Shane Vader yeah. will have that video. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Shouts out to Shane. Yeah. Shane, go 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 make that. Yeah. Yeah, but I don't get do right. Would she have a bong hit transplant? <laughs> <laughs> you must never <laughs> listen to this tape. <laughs> it's horrible. <laughs> <laughs> so funny. <laughs> Salute to the king. Yeah. yeah. Hopefully we see Tom on our trip to Baltimore. I do think he is a fascinating he's a fascinating character. That was hilarious. It's like yeah. what what Irwin was funny as shit d- too. Yeah, but Tom, all those guys, T. Brad pretending mm-hmm. to be in Ireland. Yeah. Remember that shit? <laughs> yeah. He faked a trip to. I- he was like, "Guys, I'm gonna be going to Ireland yeah. for a second. He just posted uh, shit from some guy's Flickr in yeah. Ireland. <laughs> he was just like in his house in Harper <laughs> County <laughs> for two weeks. <laughs> I Bro. know this guy that got yeah. me too. That is on Instagram. Dave stories. Schofer, are you fucking kidding me? Yeah, we haven't even talked. You know. It's Show crazy how great. we haven't yeah, talked about. I can't come. I got a flat tire. Uh, well, those uh, those tires are good for uh, sixty miles. You can't, like <laughs> argue with me. I'm like okay, let me put it this way. I'm blowing off your show. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> Sending his little ass dick. To, oh man, we in gotta Western have Western Maryland. Damn, actually, maybe in Baltimore at the live show, we'll Uncle tr- Dave get Uncle Dave. <laughs> 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 Uncle Dave comedy. Yeah. <laughs> Fuck man, what a beautiful place. Yeah. And even the people that, oh, man, yeah, I love Baltimore. Fuck, they were so stupid. I love Tommy, Tommy Simbazo, just a fucking magician-looking motherfucker. He grows mushrooms now, oh. asking old he ladies. Grows. Asking old, or Magic maybe he mushrooms? doesn't, yeah. legally. Uh, just asking old ladies if they shave their pussy. <laughs> Tommy's actually funny, though. Tommy's, yeah. Yeah. But, uh, dude, that's, that's, uh, I love that place. I do what think that, like, place. We don't talk about Tom because it's just me, and we talk about him because it is. He's he is incredible. Kind of amazing. He's incredible. I think about him so much, dude. I yeah. do too. My little brother. I mean, 
literally, I, we've talked about it going to his, but like, there's no comedian my brothers want to see more. <laughs> like, I remember when I first started doing open mics, then they'd be like, I'm doing a show. They're like, is Tom Myers on it? They were 18 year olds. It was they always like, a treat. Yeah. It was always the funniest fucking thing in the world was when Tom was on a show. That time at EJ's Landing, when he's going to be like, talking shit about the Orioles, yeah. and the two people just le- happen to leave, and he's like, oh, they can't handle it, huh? <laughs> <laughs> Wanting so bad to be edgy, yeah. dude. <laughs> I mean, that show, the, the Heathens of Comedy show the at the Hamilton Arts Collective is still the best show I've ever seen in my entire <laughs> life. Nothing will be funnier than watching Tom, an hour of Tom Myers start a joke and then fucking Tony Grasick going, Tom Myers, Tom Myers, Tom Myers, and making people chant his name before he can say the punchline. And then he says the punchline to just chant at his name and people being like, yeah! <laughs> I mean, just no idea what's going on. Oh, my God. He doesn't get it at all. <laughs> Please, Tom, if you're listening, oh. Oh, we want to go good. on the road with you. <laughs> <laughs> we will pay you so well. Cleveland, <laughs> like you <will> make Boston, <laughs> yeah. Baltimore, all the major cities we're hitting. Um, Vancouver, Seattle. All right, well, we're out of time, uh, so that's it. Uh, yeah, so anyway, the show. Come to the fucking show on the 6th, please. And thanks for coming to Funny Moms on Monday. It was a great one. Great show. And we have uh, soon. we'll be back, I think, the 13th? It is the, the 14th. 14th. Yeah, yep. the 14th of May. Bye. 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 Bye.